Hey everyone, I'm Jing Shen, a year 2 student currently pursuing a diploma in Automation and Mechatronic Systems, also known as AMS, from the School of Engineering. And you're watching Of Course MP, where I'll be showing you what a day in the life of an MP student in my course looks like. Let's get started! Right now, I'm attending my Integrated Real World Project 3, which is a guided hands-on project where I can design and assemble electric circuits, including coding and programmable logic controllers, or PLC for short, and Human Machine Interfaces, HMI. Currently, I'm working on my Augmented Reality Practical, whereby I need to display images and interfaces onto objects from our own cameras. You can actually see me adjusting the interface layout and checking my codes. So if you're into robotics and coding, then this course is the one for you. This module includes the use of relevant components and applications to real-world scenarios, which allows us to develop and prepare ourselves better for the future, where smarter innovations in leading-edge technologies, such as smart homes and self-driven robots, can be implemented into a new norm. These projects help to develop our critical thinking, problem-solving, and technical skills. So before we leave, I have some questions from my lecturer, Ms. Ng, regarding our course at AMS. Hi, Ms. Ng. What career prospects are available for AMS students? Career paths such as application engineer, system integrator, or even designing smart products, just mm. to name a few. So for our course, right, we teach them on the latest automation technology, such as augmented reality, mm -hmm. and even robotics control, uh, computer vision, or even autonomous vehicles. So they can further hone their skills in their FYP or internships later on just to prepare them for the career when they graduated. Before we get to the next lecture, it's time for lunch. And for today, I'll be going to Food Club where there's a store that sells our famous ayam penyet. So I'm done with lunch and since you have some time before the next lecture, let's take this time to answer some of your questions that you may have on my course. Firstly, often times people ask me why I chose the diploma in AMS. Personally, I was always fascinated with building robots and smart machines that would make my life easier. When I was in secondary school, I found myself researching on newer and more reliable technologies such as self-driving cars or even automated cleaners, working on projects that could bring even more convenience to my life with the aid of technology. Hence, when I was choosing my post-secondary education options, I thought that AMS was the one for me. Additionally, I joined AMS because the course covers both mechanical and electrical track of studies, so I'm exposed to both engineering fields. AMS focuses on future technology in creating a smarter and more sustainable world through implementations of robots and coding. So now, I'm having my engineering system design module where I'll be given more exposure on the principles of designing and how we, as engineers, can ensure that our designs are able to meet the needs of consumers. Not only do we go through and practice the design process, but we actually get to evaluate and determine which material and design is best suitable for users. In this lesson, we are working on various case studies where we are given real-life scenarios of engineering designs and identifying how we can improve it in any way. Now I'm headed to a comfortable area in the student lounge to catch up on some recorded lectures and make my notes for my modules or work on an assignment. Oftentimes during breaks before my next lecture, my friends and I would hang out around here to watch our favourite movies and shows or even have productive study sessions. The discussion rooms are also equipped with televisions which come in handy when we are rehearsing for presentations. And that's it for a day in my life as an automation and mechatronic system student. So now I'll be heading off to dinner with some of my friends but before that, do let us know if you have any questions or what caught your eye the most in this video in the comment section below. And do check out our other Of Course MP videos to find out more about the other courses that we have here at Mia. See you!